Hi YouTube, Neil here with Face Lift Interiors. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to reupholster a footstool. And also with that, we're gonna be hand slipping the corners or hand stitching the corners. It's a different way how we normally do it. This is just an alternative. If you haven't got a sewing machine and you can't sew the corners up, this is a really great way of doing it. Cause all I'm gonna do is cut a big square bit of fabric, staple it all on, hand slip the corners. Rob was your father's brother. So if you love upholstery tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to also give us a like and a comment. It's, it's lovely hearing from all you guys. So let's get started. This is how to reupholster a footstool without a sewing machine and how to hand stitch or hand slip the corners. Action. We will take this fabric off, strip it all down, take the legs off, take the bottom off, take the piping off. Then we'll look at the padding, see if the padding's okay. It looks okay. And then we'll just cut a new bit of fabric on top what you could do is there's multiple ways you could do this you could seam the corners up like stitch the corners you could do what they've done here see that's loose what they've done is they've stapled up here and then they just pulled this bit down over the top stapled it off what i'm probably going to do is stitch all the four corners because i like to do things this way okay so let's get these off so now i've got to get this old piping off Let's get all these out. You can see there's another old fabric on here as well. It looks like it's been upholstered, re-upholstered once already. So as you can see, this has been reupholstered already, but that's fine. You can go over the top of old fabric. Let's take it all off. I'm gonna take the other layer of fabric off as well, because it's just gathering up a bit and making it a bit lumpy and bumpy. All the fabric's off. So it's just the lining on top of that now. So this bit here, as you can see, it's a bit baggy. So what I'm doing, I'm just gonna pull it down a bit tighter and staple it off. So, just gonna glue some Dacron on now. I'm just gonna pull that tight. As you can see, I'm pulling that taut. And I'm gonna push it down on the sides, push it outwards towards the corners. Now, I'm gonna glue these ends down. Same on this side, just making sure there's Dacron so now I'm going to cut the excess off around here. Always, always put Dacron on, no matter what you're doing. Gives you a nicer finish, helps you with your finish, helps you with the upholstery. It's more padding, nicer feel, just better all round. So what I'm going to do is snip these corners away. I think you saw me do this on the previous video. If you saw the Puffet video that we did, so when cutting your fabric for this, you just need to make sure you've got enough to go all the way around. So two inches below, so 51. It's basically a width. 51 by 37. Let me just cut that. Oh, I'm gonna cut some piping out first. I'm just cutting up some piping cord because this piping needs to go all the way around the bottom of this. So we have cut our fabric. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna make sure we've got enough. So I'm just laying it on, make sure I've got enough fabric to go all the way around each side. Then I'm gonna start just tempering it on. So I'm gonna put one in the center here. Then I'm gonna bring the fabric over this way. I'm gonna do one in the center here. Then I'm gonna come do the two ends. So that is one, each side and two ends. So what I did is I made sure I pulled all the tension out when I done the centre here, centre this side, I made sure I pulled all the tension, all the looseness out. So with this fabric, you can see it's got a weave in it, this way and this way. So you can essentially, you can just look at your weave, make sure it's on straight and just follow. 
we, that is what we're going to do. We're literally just going to start stapling all the way around, pulling the fabric over like this, not too tight. So it's that side. Now we're going to do this side. So I can look at here, look and see if there's any lumps and bumps. Run my hand down, make sure it's nice and smooth. You don't want any lumpy bumpies on there. Right, so that's that side done now. Flip it over and do the other side. So same principle, so let's pull him out. Pull all the fabric over, nice and tight. Put a couple in there and then we're gonna work our way down this way. What you're doing here is you're rolling it over and then you use your hand holds the fabric down so I can get all them staples in there without having to keep pulling the fabric. So we're doing the same here. We're not going to staple all the way out to the end because that is where we're going to put our pleats or our seams, shall we say. Let's go to the other end for that. So we're going to keep stapling, keep working our way up. I'm going to stop about there. I need enough to show you how to do the corners. So now we're on to corners. As you can see here, I stopped stapling here and I stopped stapling here. Because what we're going to do is, so this is the long side. We're going to bring this fabric round. We're going to staple it down here. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling that fabric taut. I'm going to stick a few staples in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, cut up along them staples and then what you can do is you can see how much fabric we're going to need so there's a lot of fabric you can cut away so if you look at that so that's essentially how I want it to finish so I folded all the fabric under that I'm not going to need so then I fold this back and then I can see where I folded it I can cut all the way up there and lose all of that fabric. Just gonna snip a bit further because there's a little seam showing up here. A staple off there. So now we've cut away all the excess fabric. You can see now, actually let's get rid of that. We don't need all of you there as well. And now that is how I want my fabric to sit. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna st staple off underneath. So as you can see, there is a slight pinch there so what we do is we use our regulator and just push that bit of fabric down. You can use the flat end if you want. This is what we use to tidy up. Then probably what I might do here is I might slip this, hand slip this shut. It's really quite tight, but I might do a hand slip just to shut it up. Now we're going to be doing some hand slipping. So what I've got here is I've got a curved needle and some thread. This is just standard slipping thread. So what I'm going to do is I've already threaded it onto my needle. So it's already threaded onto the needle. So on this end, I'm just going to tie a little knot. So this is going to be my hooking point. So this knot is going to get caught inside the fabric and it's going to anchor me in. So it's not going to come out basically. So that is going to be our starting point. So you can see there we tied a little knot. Now we'll trim that off. So, so what we're going to do is we are going to get started. And basically you want to go get into somewhere where it's not going to be seen. So we're going to go right in there. Right, so I'm just using my regulator there to tuck that fabric in. So now we have a starting point. Now we want to start threading. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing without stabbing yourself. So you can see here where I've come out here. For the next stitch I want to come about level, maybe just above it. I want to go in and then come out. I don't want to go too far because this is only a little stitch. I want to do small stitches because I don't want them to show up. So that is about perfect. So now we've come out here, hopefully you can see that where we've come out. So now we want to anchor in on the other side. Sorry, I'll just 
keep using this regulator to keep this knot up the top from not pulling down too tight. So now we come out there, so what I do is I pull that back, see where I need to enter, just above it, and down. So it's pulling nice and tight now. Same on this side, we're going to go bang opposite and just up a tad. And carry on all the way down essentially. So as you pull it you'll see all the stitches coming nice and tight all the way up the seam. this takes some practice so I would say this is something if you're wanting to learn upholstery it's definitely something worth practicing at home just getting yourself a couple of bit of fabric and just practice slipping them together right so now we're coming towards the end so now we're at the bottom we could either run this through we could run this thread back through and staple it underneath but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through the hole that we came out of Here we go. So now we've got it back through. I'm going to pull the fabric out like so. And then I'm just going to trim that off so it's hidden inside. There's a nice hand slipped corner. So now all we need to do with this, put the bottom on, put the legs back on, and it's done. So now we're going to attach our piping. Right, so should we set it there? I think we should. So what I'm doing is using my thumb to run my finger along the edge as I'm putting it on. So I'm not having the pipe hanging too far over, I'm having it flush. So that's what I do, huh? Right, so here, I'm gonna have a nice little join. Do you see this corner here? You'll be wondering what I've been doing. So I'm cutting in um, from both sides. So I'm cutting out a triangle, essentially. That means, so when I turn this like this, there's not too much fabric gathering. Because if all the fabric was still there, it would be too much fabric, it would be too thick. Because we're cutting some out, it's grand. So now, we need to join these two. So what we're going to do is cut some of the piping cord away. Same on this one. So what we're going to do here So what we did is we've overlapped the two pipings there and now we're going to put another bottom on. 